Hello YouTube and welcome to my Ableton tutorial series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Simpler which is Sampler's little brother. Okay let's get started. First of all you're going to want to have a MIDI channel so go to create and come down to insert MIDI track or we'll just delete the audio track we don't need that and we're going to highlight eight bars by left clicking and dragging across we'll right click on the highlighted area and choose go down to insert MIDI clip Make sure the mini clip's highlighted and press Ctrl L to loop it. And then we'll come to Instruments and we'll left click on Simpler, drag that out off onto the MIDI channel and choose any sample you want. We're going to use a melody from the um, Sing Singo Makers EDM Ultra Pack Volume 4 and we're going to use sample 77 sounds pretty good. Whatever sample you want, you drag it out into the uh, blank box here where it says drop sample here and as you can see it's now loaded it in and then we'll choose volume we'll choose that to be about there about minus two and what you can do if you come down to slice you can see it's now s sliced it up a hundred percent it's got these little um little slices where you can play back certain sections by a midi keyboard or your pc keyboard if you've got this one highlighted up here the pencil tool Sorry, not the pencil tool, sorry. If you've got this one highlighted, the keyboard. If you've got this one highlighted, it means you can use your PC or your Mac keyboard to input the notes. So if we play a note, first of all, we've got to have, the, have it armed by pressing the record button. That was me pressing the S button. Now, now the D, see what it's doing? What you can do, if you want to make less slices so the sound plays back a little bit longer, you come to um, sensitivity. And we'll turn that down to about that's about let's say 45. On playback, if you've got it on mono, that means that whatever key you press, it'll play that section and then end as soon as it reaches the end of the section. Poly pretty much does the same, although you've got control of voices, which means how many accents it adds to the sound. Then you've got through, which means once it gets to the end, it'll carry on playing the next clip until you press another key. We want it on mono because we only want to play one section at a time. And you've got the volume here which is um, always starts off at minus 12 decibels which is quite quiet. You might want to budge up to minus 3 or 0 decibels. Velocity means how much percent is generated the harder you hit the key. So how much more sound will come through. Then you've got transposition which is deals with semitones which means you can up or down the pitch. And 12 semitones is one octave. You've got fade in, fade out, which is self explanatory. You can choose the height, you can choose your LFO and the frequency and the filter. So, if we go ahead and record something, we'll just elongate that sound. We'll just create another MIDI clip by going to create insert MIDI track. Sorry, no, we don't want to do that. We'll delete the MIDI track and we'll delete the MIDI clip from up here. I'm just going to set, press record, M make sure you your channel of the MIDI track is on by pressing make sure this is highlighted the little red and black dot icon here to the left to the right sorry and then we'll press record up here we'll make sure it's starting at the beginning and I'm just going to lay something down basic just by pressing the buttons on the keyboard here we go we have got a countdown That's that. What we'll do now is we'll just chop it down to eight bars. That's going to be massively out. That's not in time at all. So then what we will do, we can play it back quickly, see what it sounds like. As you can tell, it's massively out. So what you would do to rectify that is make sure that the clip is highlighted. Come down to your MIDI clip op, uh, selection clip down here. And what you can do, make sure your pencil tool is not highlighted, click anywhere on the grid to focus it, right click, and come, no, first of all what you want to do is press Ctrl and A to select all your notes, right click and go to quantize settings, and then uh, we'll leave it on quarter note, what that will do is it'll, when we press OK, it will shuffle all these notes, notes to the nearest quarter note, and if we leave it on start, that's fine, that means 
it will shift to the nearest quarter note. If we leave it on end, it should make all these notes uh, a quarter bar in length. If we leave, if we left end unchecked, it shuffle it into the nearest quarter note, but it leave the notes the same length. So if we leave that and press OK, as you can see, it's now shuffled them all. But some blank spaces and some are overlapping, so be sure to check those. We'll just press hold control and left click and drag across. We duplicate that one. This one's overlapping, so we'll drag that out there. The rest look okay. We'll highlight that one, just shrink it down a bit. Same with this one, hold down control, left click. Same with this one. Now if you play that back. As you can see, that's much better. It's much of an improvement. And there are more options to play on Simpler. You've got the one-shot feature. Which basically just plays back the whole sound. Same, so just classic. But if you're looking to um, play in notes, the best one to use is use Slice. And don't forget about the sensitivity option. By turning that down, you have less slices. So that when you press the key, if you do it on mono, it will generate sound much longer. If you turn it all the way down, you have less slices. Well, that's it for this video, YouTube. If you've liked it or it's been useful at all, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I could always use it as a support. So stay safe, be lucky. Until next time, Virtual Worlds, signing out.